All right, welcome back to the Recruit Pursuit Podcast. I am co-host Devin, not joined by Evan today, but I'm joined by Kane Wood, Seattle Christian, uh, 2024, correct? 2024. Good. How are you doing, Kane? Good, good. I'm glad to be here today. Yeah, thanks for joining me. Um, of course. Glad we finally got you on here. We've been talking for a couple of weeks. Yeah. It's been a little bit of a... Yeah, I've been busy with basketball schedules, traveling, so... It's okay though. You got you got more games uh, this weekend, right? Yes, I leave tonight, uh, and I fly in uh, this t- uh, tomorrow morning in Vegas, and then I start my games Thursday, Thursday morning. And then Thursday, no, Friday, what? Saturday, Sunday too. Yeah, Saturday, Sunday. Those are like brackets and stuff. So I don't okay, know yeah. My yeah, definitely. And you play for um, what's the uh, AA two uh, ECBA? Yeah, ECBA. Yeah, what's I it like play playing for there? Uh, it's really good. Um, it, we're a really, really fundamental team. I, I love the program. It, we really, we really like to, we really like to not be too flashy with what we do. We like to move the ball. Don't make. We like to make extra passes. We don't like to just play one on one. We we always like to work the ball around, find the best opportunity, best shot, and just dominate from there. So mm-hmm. we're just not too flashy. We're really simple with it. Who are some other guys um, on the team with you? Uh, we have Jalen Dollar, uh, Cameron Dollar's uh, son. We have uh, Trey Basket, Jason Basket's uh, son. We have uh, Amari Harris, uh, Zach Luz. Um, yeah, we, 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 we just lost a couple players, that, but those are like the ones that really stuck right now. Mm-hmm. That, that was, they're still with us. Nice. That's awesome. And how other tournaments have you guys done um, over the summer? What was that? What other tournaments have you guys done uh, over the summer so far? Uh, so we just got back from Cali Live. That's a, I want to say it's Hoop Circuit uh, sponsored. And then before we were doing that, we were doing a ton of uh, the Marquee Hoops uh, circuit. We did the second session and the third session. And then those are the ones we've done. And then we did... Um, we did uh, a Centralia tournament, but it wasn't the uh, battle in Seattle one. It was it was a different one. Okay, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, um, let's shift gears a little bit. How about right. you describe your game on the court? You know, how do you best describe it? All right, uh, I like. I'm really, I'm really, uh, I like to play from all 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 areas of the court. I love catching the ball down low. To, uh, pack backing somebody down, maybe fade away or go right into contact finish for a and one. I love uh, catching the ball on the three point line. One dribble pull up. I I just like I like uh, what's the word? I like being different in my game. I like I don't like doing the same thing over and over and over again. I like doing the same thing whether it's screen flare pop for a three or screen flare catch drive kick out to assist. I like I like being different in my game. I like creating opportunities for my teammates i like showing out for me sometimes it, it just all depends on where 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 i'm at right now like it just all depends on how defense is playing to whatever the defense is playing I, I, i've got my iq up thanks to jason basket cameron dollar i know when to make the right pass when it's not to make when not to make the right pass and just just work my game mm-hmm. that's great i like that um yeah. let's go back to the end of or i guess like the beginning of last year before for seattle christian um yeah. what was one thing that you really wanted to improve on going into the year and then do you feel like you accomplished that um i really so going in that year it was it was shortened a little bit because of covid like we were a lot of games were canceled and stuff so we don't it was hard because we were playing with masks too and so I really want to just improve on um, finishing, like uh, b- being more uh, move around more down low and stuff. And I really think I did. I worked on that last year. We played um, last year. We played Life Christian. They had uh, I don't want to butcher his last name, but they had a uh, Omari Malana. Yeah, he's he's going to Biola. They had uh, Bradley Swilly. Mm-hmm. Trey Haynes and uh, Deshaun Nichols, I think. 
and we ended up playing three of those four this year and it was really really it was really 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 uh rough we have um we had we have Jordan Clark as our point guard, Seattle Christian. We had Trey Basket as our shooting guard, and then we had uh, two guards this year that were seen that are seniors, Hayden Holcolter and Jackson Rivera. So we we were, I want to say it was those uh, like Christian, and then we played Andy Wright this year too. Mm-hmm. Those were like two of our harder schools, so it was definitely a harder approach. We had to, we definitely had to have a real game plan on the on that team to. It, it was just really hard guarding some of those kids because our with, with our team, we're not really tall. We're just fast and we're really fundamental. So we know when to make right passes and take an open shot. We, we're, we're really well on defense. Just that those two are those two schools are really, really great teams. So it's just we just fight and they, they ended up taking the uh, dub both times we played them. It is it is a tough two schools in Nisqually, right? That's that's the conference? Yeah, in Nisqually. Yeah, and it's a 1A, and there's some great talent in um, yeah. that 1A conference, and you guys are so small. What are some guys that you enjoy going up against within the conference? Um, I really loved playing against Omari. Anytime, because I was playing the big last year, anytime uh, we would switch on, a, switch on a screen, he would really, really help me, like, I'd say – he, he was really, really shifty, so was, I had to really, like, focus, stay stay on my feet and make sure I know where he's going to go next. So that was, I love playing against him. Uh, Hart, Hunter Carter, I really love playing against him this year. He's really – he's a really, really uh, great player in my class. Um, and Andy Wright had uh, Martin uh, Copanger. Yeah, I don't know how to say either, but that sounds right. He's 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 really really good. Me and him, me and him definitely battled down low for because we both play big. So I really like playing against him. He's really he's really different too. So he he'll come he'll catch the ball, in and out dribble, and then pull up right on you. Or then in the next move he'll come down body you get up for an one but he's he's really really i really love playing against those those kids right there Mm -hmm. that's a great answer and martin is is very impressive as well and you know you have been impressive as well on the court too um what how have you guys been so far this summer you know for seattle christian and you guys played in some local summer leagues i would assume so no, we haven't played any summer league games. Oh, okay. Uh, we just been I just been practicing for AAU and just getting in the gym a lot, working out, just getting in the gym and just repeating that over and over and over again, just working for working towards for next year. Mm-hmm. What's one thing that you want to improve on going into next year? Uh, definitely a uh, ball handling area. I don't I don't really do a ton of ball handling. I like to. When I anytime I do do ball handling, it's downhill or to create space to get a shot off. I really want to like try to work on my ball handling so I'm able to help out next year in case uh, our point guard's in trouble. And you mentioned how last year you're playing the big. Uh, is that going to be different next year? Uh, we want we wanted it to be different. We were we were supposed to get a, a big kid who was going to come to the school. He used to go there. And he grew. He left, but he came back. But he's moving out of out of the country, so I'm gonna be I'm gonna well, continue to play that big spot next year too. And you have no problem with that, right? You feel confident? I have no in... problem. I, yeah, I have no problem with that. I'm perfectly fine with that. I I love I just love helping out my team with, with whatever I can do. If I got to play the big guard, whatever I got to do, I help my team out. Mm-hmm. That's a great answer. I love that. Yeah. Um. Talk about some of your teammates. Talk about um. What's what's your favorite NBA team? Just kind of just go out of the NBA team. Uh, if you have one, I don't really got a favorite NBA team. I, I just my favorite player is Kevin Durant. So, whatever team he goes to, I'll, mm-hmm. I'll float over there. So, they call me a bandwagon or whatever, but yeah, that's just my favorite player. So, hey, me too. I got a jersey right there. I got I like that OKC jersey in the closet. Yeah, I got a Sonics jersey, OKC jersey, Brooklyn, Golden State jersey. I got all the jerseys. Golden State, yep. I got that one. I got like the Remember when they had those like black short sleeve ones? Oh, the short, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I got yeah. one of those, but I don't have a Brooklyn one. Yeah, I got one. 
as soon as he said they were going, as soon as he went there, I got one. And then he didn't play that year. And then that year he, he played and I was able to wear it and stuff. And if he goes somewhere new, I'm about to get another jersey. I was about to say, you think he's going to go anywhere? My favorite team is the Suns. So I wanted him to go there. It's not happening anymore, okay. but. Yeah, nah, I I want him to, I want to come to Portland, get get closer. So I'm able to go down and watch some of the games. So That would be awesome. Yeah, it would. That's what I really hope. Or if we bring back the Sonics, you can come right over to the Sonics again. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That would be awesome, too. Uh, what are some guys you like to model your game after? Uh, definitely Kevin Durant. I like how he's a multi-scorer. He can score from anywhere on the court. Um, I also like watching uh, Shaq a little bit. Shaq was really, really dominant down low. His foot, his footwork was amazing. That's definitely somebody who I, I used to watch a ton. But really, those two, and then Kobe's. I'd watch sometimes. I watched, I watched a lot of him when I was really, really younger. Him and Shaq, when they were on the same team, I watched them. I watched Kobe, and then be like, "Oh, Shaq was so dominant down low," and I'd start watching some of Shaq. But like right now, I try modeling my game right after Kevin Durant. I, I love how he scores. I love how he dishes the ball out, helps rebound, just everything. That's what I really model my game after. If that answer. That's perfect, and I like the. You watch the Shaq. I haven't heard that comparison yet when we do the interviews. Yeah. I love that. And he is very yeah. underrated for that, that footwork. He is. Yeah, footwork. Yeah, he was really dominant down low. Everybody's thought of him. He just catches the ball, jumps up, puts it. But anytime he go against somebody bigger, he get help get double teamed on. He drops step. And then don't you just got to watch that footwork. Yeah, and he's putting up like 35 and 15. Yeah, 35, 15. Like, he couldn't be stopped. So, he's just – it was just unreal. It is. I wish I could have watched it live, you know, but yeah, same. Yeah, that's that's, right. that's one play. That's one player I wish I could watch live. Shaq. Yeah, I agree with that. Um what do you like to do outside of basketball? Uh I really like to hang out with friends. I like to do I like to do I'm I like to play other sports too. There's I'll I'll go out and just like mess around with my friends, play the other sports, just stuff like that. I I like to play football baseball i've started going out and doing this with my friends but i've been like golfing a little bit just going to mess around at like a driving range and stuff just yeah. whack a ball yeah so it's just i just like being i just like being uh what's where i like being on my feet being i don't like, i don't like yeah active like i like being active i'll sometimes sit down and play video games but it's like late at night when i'm not doing anything yeah do you, yeah. you play varsity on any other uh sports or no just basketball no i've never played another sport besides basketball for my school next year i will be playing uh some different sports though what are you gonna play uh i'm 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 probably gonna be playing uh football because my dad was a big football guy when he was in high school he was d1 and so he wants me to play football and then i'm gonna be playing baseball too nice awesome I think you got the size of football. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What, what position would you want to play? Wide receiver, or tight end. Yeah, hundred percent. That's what I was saying. Yeah. I, feel like I can build like a tight end. I feel like. Yeah, people want. Pe- some people want me to play quarterback, but I don't like. I don't. That people say that uh, uh, playing quarterback will help with my IQ a little bit, but I don't think it will. I just want to. I just want to be able to go run, run my heart out, and then catch the ball. And just that's why. That's why I was grew up love doing. That makes sense. And you're just pretty much doing it for fun, right? Just your yeah, senior doing year. it for fun. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Or I guess you're going into junior year, right? Yeah, I'm going to my junior year. Yeah, my bad. But... No, you're good. You're good. <laughs> uh, what position do you want to play for baseball? Baseball? I don't really know a ton of the positions for baseball. I'm really I'm really just out there to go play. Uh-huh. And my, my younger brother plays baseball, so I'd be playing with him. Okay. So I'm just going to play whatever, whatever the coach tells me to play. I'll learn it, play it. Just have fun. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Baseball is like my one. I love baseball a lot. I watch baseball every day. Yeah, I'll, I'll watch. I'll, I'll go to a Mariner game here and there. I love going to the Mariner game. Me and my dad used to do it all the time. I just got busy with basketball. And I haven't been able to do it since. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, do you guys have any more AU tournaments scheduled for the rest of summer? Uh, Other than not that this I- one. No, no. After, this is our last one on our schedule. So unless we get put in another little tiny one, we have no other uh, terms. Mm. We may do a small one in Seattle if there's one, but we don't have any others. So what's the schedule looking like for the rest of summer for you? 
you know, before um, maybe get into football or into the basketball next year? Uh, definitely going to keep on working out. I've been uh, just working my legs out. I, I'm, I'm starting – I have to start getting up to my upper body, start working that out again. But uh, that's really just – I'm going to be working out, practicing, getting in the gym. And I'm going to do – I'm going to start doing a ton of cardio too, just help out since I'm not going to be running a ton. So I'm going to be doing a ton of cardio, working out, and just hooping it, hoop more. Definitely. I love that. I love how you just seem like a gym guy. Yeah. Yeah. Just love being in the gym, huh? Yeah. yeah. Uh, what are some aspirations for you uh, after high school? Uh, I don't, I don't. You got a long time, really, but you know, just. Yeah. I, I don't really know. I just, uh, I don't, yeah, I don't really have any. I, not that I could think of off the top of my head. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. I mean, you got a long way to go anyway. I mean, only going so into like, junior year. <laughs> Yeah, junior year, maybe after junior year, I'll have some, but no, nah, I don't have any right now. Yeah, that makes sense. Just enjoy being in the gym and getting better. Yeah. Yeah, you have any questions for me? Uh, No, I, I like what you're doing right now. You you were just you were interviewing players. Getting, I, I just love what you're doing you're out here. Just I like, I, I, I like the hustle that you do. Thank it's you. Just, thank you. I have respect for it. I love people who – who definitely go out, go out their way to help other kids. Like the day you messaged me on uh, Twitter, you helped me get a mixtape out there. I just appreciate that. I love, I love your, I love that you're trying to help out other kids. Like I, I just like it. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, you know, it means something to you and I could help you out in some way. If you ever yeah. need anything else, you know, I'm always here. Um, yeah, of course. And I would love to have you back on the podcast later this year, probably with Evan. And then we can talk about, you know, your season and everything that's going on. Yeah, of course. Of course. For sure. All right. Thanks. I mean, I don't think I have any more questions. So if you got anything else to say. I don't have it. I don't got any other questions. I'm good. I I appreciate this. Appreciate coming on the podcast. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Thanks for coming on. And uh, I'll have to come on again and, you know, keep chatting with me and keep me updated on everything. Let me know how this weekend goes. And um, yeah, I will. I'm always text away. All right. Yep. For sure. Appreciate right. that. Thanks, Kane. Of course.